Angola looks so peaceful. But what happened here 400 years ago was not. In 1619, a European ship landed in colonial Virginia with an unexpected cargo. The ship came up the Chesapeake Bay and it landed here at Point Comfort in the latter part of August of 1619. Africans arrived against their will. First a few, then many human cargo traded to the early settlers. The Kwanzaa River, which empties into the Atlantic just south of Luanda, was an important trade route. Beginning in the late 1400s, slave traders in what is now Angola took part in transatlantic human trafficking. Historians say the Portuguese took much of the historical records when they left Angola. After the name of the slave, gender, place of birth or origin, age, identifying marks, occupation, and at the end, a notes where we can see the date of capture. In 1617, they founded the port city of Benguela. There, this building, which is now Angola's National Archaeology Museum, was once a way station for thousands of human captive. Centuries of colonization and slavery scarred Angola, as did recent decades of civil war. Today, the country has the third largest economy in sub-Saharan Africa, but at least a third of its 30 million people live in poverty. At the Colégio Caju Middle School in Luanda, in the studies of slavery, teachers are careful not to provoke resentment over race. I'd like to tell young Americans, do not hold on to resentment. Now we have to be more correct, have better ideas than our ancestors, and prevent slavery from happening again. We live in the United States. United means that we're all in this together. But people aren't getting treated fairly because, because people are not doing the right thing. And we should all do the right thing because we're in this together.